Welcome to the TearSet tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create raster group files and pyramids, use the Identify tool on single and multiple images, and use the Zoom, Measure, and Radius tools for image exploration. The Identify tool can be used to query pixel values in your image. You can also click on your image with a normal cursor to learn the pixel value, but there are some unique aspects to the Identify tool. To use the Identify tool, click the Identify icon, then click anywhere on your image. A table will pop up containing information on the pixel value and the X and Y coordinates of the point you clicked. You can also obtain the pixel values for more than one image simultaneously. To do this, Add the images you want to query to the same map window using the Add Layer icon on the Composer. Then, click anywhere on your image with the Identify tool selected. Now the pixel values for all images in the map window are shown in the Identify table. An important skill when working in TearSet is the ability to create raster group files. A raster group file is a collection of map layers stored under a single name. The use of a single name to refer to multiple files makes it easy to input many files into a module at the same time. To create a raster group file, highlight the files you wish to include in the TearSet Explorer. You can use the Shift or Control keys to highlight multiple files. Then right-click on the highlighted names, go to Create, and select Raster Group. The new raster group can then be renamed by right-clicking on it and choosing Rename. Images contained in a raster group file can be linked using the Group Link icon allowing you to zoom and pan around multiple map windows simultaneously. To use the Group Link option, you must first display the images you want to link. Start by opening the Display Launcher. When you browse the pick list for your images, you'll notice that raster group files have a plus sign next to their name. Click this plus sign to select the files within that raster group. Using the Display Launcher allows you to customize the image display parameters, but you can also open files within raster groups from the TearSet Explorer. Here, raster group files are identified by a folder symbol and the extension .rgf. Double-click the folder symbol to view the layers within a raster group file, and double-click the file you want to open. Notice that these layers when opened from within a raster group file, are named with dot logic, the raster group name, followed by a period, followed by the image name. Images opened from outside of a raster group file will be identified by the image name alone. In order to use the group link tool, be sure that all your files have been opened from within the same raster group and have the dot logic file name. Once your images are open, simply click the group link icon to link the display windows. You can zoom in and out of your images by clicking the zoom in or zoom out icons, then clicking your image. You can also use your arrow keys or scroll with your mouse to zoom. You can pan around your image by clicking and dragging the image within the display window or you can use your arrow keys to pan left and right. You can zoom to a specific extent in your image by clicking the zoom window icon, then clicking and dragging on your image to encompass the area you wish to zoom to. You can click the full extent normal icon or the home key on your keyboard to return your image to the original display size and extent. Click the Full Extent Maximized icon, or the End key, to enlarge the display window to fill your screen. The volume of data associated with raster images can be substantial. 
This can impact the speed of display, especially if your images have large numbers of rows and columns. To handle this, Tearset uses pyramids. Pyramids refer to the storage of an image at several resolutions to facilitate display. If you find that your image takes a long time to display or to zoom, you may want to create pyramids for it. To create pyramids for an image, right-click the image name in the Tearset Explorer and select Create Pyramid. You can create pyramids for all the layers contained within a raster group file by right-clicking the raster group file name and selecting Create Pyramid. When the pyramids have been successfully created, the file symbol in the Tearset Explorer will change to a triangle. If you want to quickly and easily measure distances on your images, you can use the Measure Length and Measure Zone tools. Click the Measure Length icon, then click your starting point. The tool will measure a straight line distance between your starting point and the location of your cursor. If you click again, you can start a new line segment connected to the first line segment. If you want to start a new measurement altogether, right-click and your previous measurement will be erased. The Measure Zone tool works in a similar manner. Click the Measure Zone icon, then click your starting point on the image. The tool will measure the radius of a circle and the area contained within that circle based on your starting point and the location of your cursor. Click again to erase the measurement. When you are done with any of the tools mentioned in this video, you can click the tool icon again to turn the tool off. For more information on image display and exploration, check out the Tearset tutorial, which can be accessed by going to Help and selecting Tearset Tutorial. The first tutorial will offer more information on the topics covered in this video, as well as a number of other Tearset basics.